how do you know like how to charge like a company or whatever? They'd be like, oh, just tell them what you think you're worth. I don't know what I mean. Cause I'm worth a million dollars. What you want me to tell the company that I want a million dollars for Instagram posts? Ugh, it's like so annoying. <laughs> yeah, I wanna see all my people win, and we know that. I love you, then I got you to the end, and you know that. Everybody used to show me love, where it go at? I was born to shine, I speak my mind and get that glow back. Try to pay my dues, but niggas rather say you owe that. Every single <laughs> Why don't you just let go and quiet your down your ego? Don't complain about finance. I know your daddy want a real man. Go ahead and leave your dreams. To me, you're stronger than a whole team. I know you can't relax, and you don't want me to know that. I'd say you agree. Uh, I feel like I haven't posted in so long. Um, but first and foremost, I'm about to be installing this wig, this wig really quickly for you guys um, to give my kindreds the tea of what these companies be sending y'all. Um, so yeah, we're about to see. But I had already like bleached the knots and stuff, and I had did a little bit of plucking to the hairline. So like I said, I'm about to just go ahead and install it and just kind of chat with y'all because I feel like your girl is always going through it. So annoying. So like, I feel like I haven't posted in a long time. And it probably wasn't that long, but I feel like it's been a long time. Like two, three weeks, that's a long time without posting on YouTube. Um, I had a vlog ready and like I had it edited. I found the right music. It was ready to go, you know what I'm saying? And then all of a sudden, my hard drive like gave out on me. So, I had just finished editing a vlog and I was getting ready to post it the next day. But when I woke up that morning, um, all the files were corrupted. Like the hard drive just like literally gave out on me. So I was like really sad and frustrated about that. And I'm like, you know what? This is like very frustrating. If stuff like that gets very exhausting, because that's like the third time that has happened, you know, happened to me. So stuff like that gets frustrating because I don't know if y'all know, but I've been on YouTube, like making YouTube videos since, what, 2017, 2018 maybe, 2017, 2018, 2017, what is that, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, that's five years. So I've been on YouTube for five years and, you know, it's really hard to grow an audience or like a family, like on YouTube. For some people, some people have it easy, but then some people have it hard. I mean, I've been on here for five years, and I'm just breaking that that 10,000 subscriber mark. Wait, how many subscribers do I even have? I don't, I don't, I don't even know. But not a lot, and I've been seeing like, you know, some of y'all, y'all be commenting and be like, you deserve so much more like subscribers and like viewers and stuff like that. And I really appreciate it because I've been doing this for a very long time, but your girl is growing slowly. And, but I recently, I have noticed that like my numbers have been like definitely um, doing way better than it was <laughs> about a year ago. You get what I'm saying? So, you know, all in all, I am grateful, but it's frustrating because it's like, dang, I've been doing this for a long time or whatever. And and every time something happens, i.e. like my camera breaking or something going on with like my hard drive or, you know, like this, you know, it just gets very frustrating and exhausting. And then on top of that, it because it, it, I think it just be a buildup of things because it's like one thing after another. So like my um, vendor has like, their country had like shut down or whatever. So I had a lot of like wig orders that had to be literally put on hold because um, the factory shut down. So that was very frustrating for me too because I'm just like, damn, like what the fuck am I supposed to do now? And 
that was like a learning experience for me because y'all i was backed up and i'm still backed up but i feel like um by within the next two weeks all of my orders would be like caught up and shipped out and stuff but but yeah like that was very frustrating and then it, like i said it was a learning experience for me though because that's how you're supposed to always have like a backup so just having one vendor is not good enough as a you know as a business owner um and as a hairstylist and, and hair vendor and stuff like just having one vendor ain't it like i love my vendor my vendor is great and but you know when that happened i'm just like dang what am i supposed to do what am i supposed to do i don't know about this and it takes a long time it takes a long time to find like a good vendor like you have to really go through you gotta really go through tons of test trials to find like that vendor that works for you so yeah that was a learning experience so i need to um also get on the ball with like just finding another vendor a backup vendor that i can kind of like um rely on if something goes wrong or you know so that way I'm just never in that position again. So that was very frustrating. So I had that going on. I did find a place that can hopefully retrieve um, the files from the hard drive and put it on the other hard drive. So she's had my hard drive for like the past week almost. Um, I had contacted them today and asked for an update. She told me to call that tomorrow. Y'all, I don't know if y'all know, but I, don't, I really do like your chest stuff like this because i be liking to focus because your girl be anywho just trying to figure out this whole like social media content creator business thing like i'm like even though i've been doing this for a while i just started getting monetized maybe like what in 2019 which was three years ago yeah, I started getting monetized in 2019, but I didn't start like seeing money from YouTube really until like the end of last year. For real, for real. So, you know, all of this is still new to me. So like working with brands and trying to understand like the algorithm or CPMs and like all that stuff like, this stuff is like foreign language to me so and i don't have help you get what i'm saying like no one's explaining this stuff to me or like i don't know like it's just frustrating because y'all already know how i feel about getting older and stuff <laughs> i just turned 27 and i feel like i'm behind the curveball you know what i'm saying like I don't know. I don't know if it's because, I don't know. I really don't even know how to like explain how I'm like really feeling, but not even diving into like personal stuff. This is like strictly just like business, but like, um, yeah, your girl is just like going through it or whatever. And it's very frustrating. I don't know, I just got my media kit together because I have been having a lot of like brands reach out to me recently and they be asking me like, oh, what's your rate? And I be trying to like, <laughs> I don't know. People say, like even when I ask, like I'll ask, I'd be like, well, how do you know like how to charge like a company or whatever? And they be like, oh, just tell them what you think you're worth. I don't know what I mean. I don't know what I mean. Cause I'm worth a million dollars. But you want me to tell the company that I want a million dollars for Instagram posts? Ugh, it's like so annoying. <laughs> it's like so annoying. So like, I don't, look. So that's why I be kind of like, I don't be wanting to ask nobody. I, I don't be wanting to like ask questions and stuff because I feel like people will look at you like, you should already know this stuff, but it's like, girl, boy, I don't know. Like, what the fuck? I don't know. This is, this is not your average nine to five where you can just like Google, you know, 
how much do an entry level, um, uh, how much do an entry level journalist, you know what I'm saying, what's their salary, you know what I'm saying? It's, this is this is like a whole different ball game. So, yeah, I just got my media kit together. Go sit down. I just got my media kit together. Oh, I need to call. Because I'm going to karaoke night and I need to call him to see if he can change reservations from eight to nine. This place don't never answer the phone. I'm trying to call this place called Mike's. I think I got the damn wig on twisted, but I'm trying to call this place called Mike's because that's where we're doing open. Thank you for calling my karaoke. Hi, um, this is Najee. I called yesterday to make reservations, um, and I made them for eight. I was wondering if I could change it to nine. For tonight? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, I'm sorry. I don't know your name. Do you need my name or no? It's okay. No, I know. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Bye. Bye. There is no true blueprint to this, you know what I'm saying? So everything feels like it's just trial and error. So like, and I be even looking up like YouTube videos on stuff like this or whatever. And I feel like, I feel like these YouTube videos, they're advertising as if it's like helpful for, um, you know, people who are who's trying to get into content creation and stuff like that and basically how to monetize on your content creation. But it's not really giving you the tea. It's giving you like the, well duh, like I already knew that. It's not really giving you the tea. And it's like, I don't know if it's because, like I don't know, I don't understand why everything is so like, hush hush and like oh, i don't really know how to explain it i don't know so yeah that's what i'm going through right now i'm trying to just like figure you know all of this out because i am i put in a lot like i put in a lot like when i be editing and stuff i put in a lot of effort in my editing and stuff like that and i'm not perfect like i'm not like the best but i put my all into my vlogs and stuff so, or when I'm editing and stuff. So, yeah, like, I want to get paid for that. Like, what the, like, I want to get paid for this. Like, I want to get paid for this. Like, this, this takes a lot of time, a lot of energy, a lot of patience, a lot of skills, you know what I'm saying? Like, this ain't easy and I want to get paid for it. And then trying to like boot get clientele and stuff like that's been very frustrating here in Atlanta. Like I know it's like so many girls here that wear wigs and stuff like that, but like ugh, it's just I, I think it's just I don't know the beast. I don't know. This is just like I don't even know how to explain it. Like when I was in New York, it was easier for me because um, I was working in salons, so I was like meeting people and getting like referred from people, you know, stuff like that. And like my clientele was like really growing. It kind of messes with me sometimes that I be thinking like, damn, I left New York when I was like really like planting my feet, you know, just as an adult and as a civilian, like finally planting my feet um, and like making my path as becoming like this, you know, hairstylist and stuff like that. And I left that to come here to kind of like be stuck and like, not lost, but like just stuck. I be feeling like I'm in a trance or like in my own little metaverse. Like I just be feeling kind of like tapped out. Like not tapped in with like the world and society and stuff like, I don't know, so not lost per se, but just like, cause just not here. Like I don't, <laughs> I don't really know how to explain it. I just really been going through it. But yeah, I'm just getting ready. Uh, cause we're gonna go, I didn't have anything, but oh, my birthday just passed. So, my birthday was on Tuesday. My birthday's on the 31st of May. And 
I literally didn't have anything planned. Like, people have been asking me all month, like, oh, what you doing for your birthday? What you doing for your birthday? And I'd be like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Like, I've always done something for my birthday. Like, I've always done something. You know what I'm saying? So, like, this is like my first time not doing absolutely nothing and not having anything planned for my birthday. I think I only have um, one year as a quote unquote adult where I didn't do anything for my birthday, but that's because I was out to sea and I mean, there wasn't nothing for me to do because I was out to see. So, yeah, but outside of that, I always plan something for my birthday. Like, I'm always the one to plan stuff for my birthday. But this year, I just was not in the mood to plan nothing for my birthday. Like, it just feels, I don't know, it just, everything just feels weird. And everything just feels just, like, off and kind of, like, out of place. And, like, I don't know. I don't know. So I just kind of said, screw it this year. And I didn't plan anything for my birthday. Um, I literally stayed in the house on my birthday. And fortunately, my friend Brandy, she sent me some cupcakes. So I had me some cupcakes and I had some candles laying around and I just lit the candle and I, you know what I'm saying? Made my wishes and stuff. Took me some birthday shots because I got a full bar over there. So I literally just did my own little thing in here. You know what I'm saying? On my birthday. So Angli, she was like, you don't have anything planned? And she also has another friend whose birthday is, I think, today. And he didn't have plans for his birthday. So she was like, would you want to, you know what I'm saying, do something, like y'all do something for your like for birthday? She had made a suggestion of us doing um, karaoke night at this place called Mike's. So I just looked into it, called, made reservations, and where are we are going to do that tonight. So we're just gonna, you know what I'm saying, catch a little vibe at this karaoke spot. I've never been there before, but I looked it up and it looks so cute in there. I was like, okay, this will be cute. It's gonna be like a little intimate situation. Um, intimate for me, well, intimate because I'm only inviting like people that I like talk to like on regular, that live here. And then he's inviting his friends. So yeah, and I don't, I don't even think, I did meet him one time. I met him at Angie's birthday. He was at Angie's birthday party, but I don't know like his friends or anything like that. Which is cool, like I don't know, I don't care. It's a lot of hair on this wig too, y'all. It's 180% density, it says. It's a 13 by four. And it's not like a 13 by four where it's like 13 by four in the middle and two on the sides. Y'all, I hate that. <laughs> I hate when wigs are like that, when companies send you wigs where it's a 13 by four in the middle and then on the sides it's a 13 by two so you don't have a lot of parting space on the side. So it's kind of hard to get like a good side part in. Um, this isn't like that. This is a, let me go get my brush. A 13 by four all the way around. So it's 13 by four in the middle and 13 by four on the sides. And that's why we're doing a side part today. I've been like feeling the side part situation that I had had going on for the past couple of weeks. Or for like the past two weeks. So that's what I'm going to stick with. So yeah, I mean, the wig is pretty full. I like it. I think it's 24 or 26 inches. I want to say 26 inches, because this is pretty long. So I think it's like 26 inches. If I'm wrong, I'll correct it in the plugins. But 26 inches um, body wave. It was body wave. I had just blow dried it, like straight, with a nozzle. And now I'm flat ironing it, because I want it to be straight. It was easy for me to pluck. Um, it was definitely easy for me to pluck and it was easy for me to bleach. I bleached the knots with, I literally just bleached the knots with BW2 and 40 volume developer. And I left it on for about an hour. So the consistency was like really thick so that way it wasn't bleeding through the lace onto the actual hair itself. But, so yeah, I left it on for about an hour, rinsed it off, and I was like, not swear. Ain't no knots on this wig. This is giving straight lace. Okay, it's giving straight lace. <laughs> so, 
Yeah, I left that on for about an hour. Um, put some shimmer lights on there. Let that sit for like 20 minutes, 20, 30 minutes. Rinsed it off. And I was like, and I looked at it and I was like, okay, it's giving, it's giving. But what the lace about to give when I put it on? So we about to see. I can't really remember what it was giving before I put the little band on it because I was too busy talking. So it's like I'm talking, it's like I'm doing my hair, but I'm not really looking at myself. It's like I'm looking at myself, but I'm not <laughs> really paying attention to like the details. So I got to take, I have to take note of that. I'm so lazy when it comes to my own hair. It don't make no sense. It really don't make no sense. And I think I might put this behind my ear today. <laughs> Antonio do not like when I put my hair behind my ear. He'd be like, your hair look like it's too done. I'm like, what's wrong with that? It's okay for your hair to be done. Child, what the hell? Why can't my hair be done? He like that natural look, you know. But sometimes I like for my hair to look like it's done. Let me take this glove off, cause I can't even feel the hair to see what it's really giving. It is doing some shedding though. That's okay, it's not bad. Cause the hair is full. When I say it's full, it's full. focus on the side that you can see so I'm literally just wearing my hair like this and what I'm gonna do is I'm literally just going to cut diagonally like that I gotta do that again anyway so y'all can look look I'm literally just cutting diagonally that may or may not be too long but You'd rather it be too long than too short. And I'm gonna do the same this way. You'd rather for it to be too long than too short because with it being too long, you can always cut it. You can't grow hair back on a lace. Okay. And I'm gonna take my <clears throat> mini curling iron. I'm um, not really curling, I'm gonna take my mini baby flat iron and I'm going to just literally curl it away from my face, like this. See that? See that? Cute, <laughs> cute. And then I'm gonna do the same with this one. I'm gonna curl it away from my face. So I'm gonna curl it upwards, up, upwards. Just like that. Cool. Now, you can do this however way you wanna do it. Some people do it with gel. Some people do it with hairspray. I'm gonna do it with Nairobi and Hairspray. So the hairspray I've been using is the olive oil wig spray, wig grip spray. Um, sometimes I use it got to be, but I really like this stuff, y'all. Really. And I'm just going to let the curls do its thing. I might need to tweeze. I forgot about that. Look, I'm over here rushing. I might need to tweeze some of these hairs out because I don't want the baby hairs to be too thick but this still will do and it will work for the line. And don't be shy or stingy with the mousse. but it's okay because we can cut it. Or flip it around like that. You see how I just like flipped it around? Because it was technically too long, but if you, if you want, you can do that flip around method.
This would lay better if I plucked more, but I don't really feel like it right now. Cause it don't look bad. And then I'm gonna take this. And then tie this around it. Okay, so we are dressed and ready to go. I literally just threw on some biker shorts, a cute little bralette, and like a t-shirt that I just like tied into a knot with some clear heels and my JBW and gold presidential jewelry. I think I got these from, probably, actually probably just got these from like TJ Maxx. <gasps> Damn, play too much. But yeah, this brown hair is definitely something that I'm gonna have to get adjusted to because I've never had like chocolate brown hair before. But um, other than that, the hair itself, I think is given. It's natural body wave and it straightens very easily. It's 180% density, 13 by four all the way around. And the lace is giving, it's giving very much transparent. So yeah, I'm here for it. Um, I'll do some more customizing when I get back, but I'm running late and I'm tired of looking at myself in the mirror because you know, the, the more you look at yourself in the mirror before you head out, the more shit you find wrong. So, <laughs> yeah, um, but before we leave, I, I'm gonna do a little Tesla with my Kendrick's because <laughs> it's your girl's birthday week, okay? It's my birthday. It's still my birthday, even though we in the month of June. It's still Gemini season and it's still my birthday. Period. So we're about to go to karaoke night and have some fun. Let our hair down, school over. Now it's time to get in the grind because this summer is really, 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 really grind summer on the business side. We was locked in into the school aspect and now we're about to lock in heavily into our business and content and create content. So yeah, I want to do a little toast to my kindred. Ah, cheers to another year because huh. As we all know, everybody don't get to see another year. So I'm very blessed and happy, regardless, that this is a new year for me. Yes, girl. Hey, you want more? Uh, we can do another shot for you. Okay. Unless you want to take a mixed drink with you. Nah. Okay. Oh, thank you. Oh wait, I have to turn it off. Hey Google. Hey Google. Pause. Because I don't want to get copywritten. <laughs> Are you gonna? Am I gonna what? You gonna sing? Uh, probably not. You but, never uh, sing? I'll share you though. You not gonna sing? <laughs> Come on, okay, I might, I might. He I might, might sing. To. I'm gonna get him lit so he can sing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Cheers. Cheers. To? To you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> That was a lot. Yeah, that was. That was a lot. And I drank it like juice. Dang. That's something wrong with it. <laughs> mm. Let's go! Alright. Yeah, I wanna see all my people win, and we know that. I love you, then I got you to the end, and you snow that. Everybody used to show me love, where it go at? I was born to shine, I speak my mind and get that glow back.